Good afternoon again, ladies and gentlemen. This is your host, German Log, Brother German. It's a pleasure again to, um, to be in your homes or wherever you may be. Um, I'm grateful to God for this day, for life, for strength. You know, as I normally said, the, the, the Bible says a, a living dog is better than a dead lion. So once we have life, we have so much to give God thanks for, for health, for strength, you know, for life. He has come to give us life and life more abundant. He has come to give us joy and joy more abundant. Joy comes from the Lord, you know, no other place. Any other way is temporary um, happiness, I would say, but joy is unconditional and it comes from God. Um, today we'll be very quick and we'll be dealing with how to avoid um, the temptations of the enemy. The Bible says that we must not be ignorant of his devices, you know, and um, but in Psalms 91 is a real good account of what I want to say. You know, the Bible speaks about God um, covering us with his feathers and we dwell under the shadow of the Almighty, you know, and um, it, it keeps us from the snares and the fowlers, you know, and from the perilous pestilence. It keeps us from the arrows that fly by day. And listen to this, the arrows by day, the destruction that laid waste at noonday, um, the, the terror that walketh in darkness. You know, it speaks of both, it speaks of activities in the spirit realm by the God of this world, by demon spirits and by his human agents. It speaks of activities both day and night. If you have an opportunity, you can go through, you should have an opportunity. Psalms 91 is one of the most important scriptures in the Bible. You know, one of the most effective and knowledgeable scriptures in the Bible as to what really trans, um, transpires in the spiritual realm. Anyhow, it gives an account of activity, of the demonic activities, both in the night and in the day. The, you know, planning in the night. Um, the Bible says when men sleep, the enemy comes and sows tears amongst the wheat. When we, when we sleep, our spirit don't actually sleep, but our body rests. And then we're not in a, 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 a full conscious state. And so we're easily deluded. You know, the enemy comes in and brings all, sows all manners of seeds in our spirit. Some people get up with headaches and it's like they, they, their brain is just tightening. Some people get up feeling suicidal. Some people get up depressed and downtrotted and, and out and, and angry and all manners of things that you can trace right back to your dreams. Normally, the enemy does not allow us to... Um, remember these dreams. If, if we remember them, we will see the reason why we have certain feelings. And what happens is that when the enemy sows these seeds um, in the night, they seek to execute them in the day when they have men's full agreement because God has given men choice. And God will not allow the enemy to override the choice of a man when he's not in his full state of mind. But certainly, the enemy has the power to delude. The enemy has the power because of open doors in our lives to sow seeds. And so you find that the Psalms 91, it speaks of the arrows that fly by day. It speaks of the destruction that laid wait at midday. And it speaks of the snares of the fowler, the traps of the fowler. And so we find that there's a plan destruction or plan activity of destruction for men, especially believers, that is sought to execute within the day by demon spirits, particularly because, not because we can't see them, they don't exist. The spirit realm is far more active than this realm that we can see. And so how do we avoid all this ladies gentlemen children boys girls brothers sisters husbands wives um how do we avoid it 
the Bible is clear. It says in Psalms, as Proverbs, I can't remember it, but it says, Lord, oh, I love your word. It's my meditation all the day long. Um, I will put the scriptures at the bottom in the description. Forgive me. Usually I don't um, remember the scriptures or I don't prepare with the scriptures because of time, but I know the scriptures mostly out of in my heart. Um, it says that, you know, I love your law is my meditation all the day long. It went on to say, he went on to say in Proverbs that um, because of it, because of the law, because of the word, I am wiser than my enemies. It, he says, I, I, I have more insight than, the, than, than, than my teachers and I know more um, than the age or, or than my elders. But he said something very, very important. He said, I have kept my feet from every evil path that I may keep your commandments. It therefore tells us that there are some paths that if we go into, we have a force that can be more powerful than us, that can override or, um, or that can um, not override, that can press us so much as to fall away. And when we look at the scriptures, it says, God says, he says, when you're tempted with evil, it is not me. I do not tempt men with evil, neither can evil tempt me. But men are tempted when they're first drawn away in that they must be a drawn away, right? And I say all this to bring over the point that we cannot wonder we cannot go places without a purpose. We cannot go places idly. Now, God says they have loved the wonder, so I've rejected them. Now, when we wonder, when we go places idly without a purpose, we come, from, we come out from under the covering of the Almighty, and then we come under the covering of darkness and an overwhelming force that if it's not for the mercy of God, we might not be able to escape. Yes, temptation, in order for temptation to happen, they, to happen, they must be a drawn away. And that is what the enemy does. You get a feeling to go somewhere. And why? You, there's no just reason to go. Some people just, just go. They just go. It can be as simple as walking on your veranda and looking out. They have no reason to do it. In the Bible gives an account of David. The first thing he was out of place because the Bible says that in a time when kings go to war, David was home. Definitely idle because at noonday he was coming off his bed idly and just walking, I think it's on his roof. And he saw a woman bathing, Bathsheba. We most of us would know what ended up happening. He ended up taking her to he ended up killing her husband first. He sending him to the hottest part of the battle, killing her husband, taking her to wife. And then within his family, uh, there was because of the many wives, including Bathsheba, and they made children to David. They was infighting, they was raping and so on. But at the end of the day, what played out is that the son of Bathsheba was king after David and that should not have been so had he or that would not have been so we all know that would not have been so had it not been for him wandering had it not been farther for him being out of place so what I'm saying ladies and gentlemen is that we cannot just we have an active enemy we're in a war we just can't do whatever we feel like doing. We can't go whatever we feel like going if it's not justified, right? If there's no just reason for it, we can't do it. The children of the world would do it and get away very easily and quite fine. But the enemy already knows he has them or he have them. But as for us, there's always warfare to destroy us because he knows our purpose he knows our threat to his kingdom he knows our end 
right and so what i'm saying is that we cannot go places without a purpose we cannot wander we cannot move idly on the internet that's why a lot of persons get into trouble because they go on the internet as some say to surf they're going to surf the internet they have no particular reason to go on it no particular interest and so you find that the enemy comes and say man look, look check out girls you know look at pornography you know check this music video out and then before you know it you're there two three four five hours and demons entering in to you because of whatsoever you're looking at and then the state of you before or after you go on the internet is worse than before so ladies and gentlemen we are not free i mean we are free because god has given us a choice and the power to execute choice but we cannot afford to maintain the things of god and wonder or do things in idleness or go places without purpose because then is when satan entraps us with all those activity that was planned in the night it executes on you during the day the bible says that we we must make straight paths for our feet so that that which is lame will not be disabled or turn away but will be healed the bible says that we must make level paths for our feet so that all our paths will be sure and firm right we cannot wander we cannot go places for purposes that is not of god or is not of any just reason i want to add life to you you know that so it is more than just where we go is what we we, we reach a place that we have to look at what we look at we just can't look at any and everything as we please we can't think of any any and everything as we please but we have to take it one step at a time so let us control what we can control and so far we can control where we go until we can get to the other place where you can control what we think right so again thank you again but again the point is that we must not wonder we can't afford to wonder we're in a war and when a soldier wanders he gets popped off and executed injured maimed lamed all right so we can go wherever we please to go there was a time that i used to get in a world of trouble um at my office and then god had shown me you love to wonder and that is why you get into that trouble don't go places that you're not supposed to go and since i've done since i corrected and adjusted my life I have been clear from all manners of madness and all manners of things that used to confuse me as to why am I going through these things. But I walked into the paths and into the traps of the fowler. So thanks again. I hope this has been informative to you. May God continue to bless you in this season. Now we're on watch to see what the enemy and more so what God is saying. Thanks again. May God bless you and keep you. In Jesus' name, amen.